Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas if you're watching this today. Um, most of you guys are probably celebrating it today unless you're on the other side of the world or you're Hispanic or like me where we celebrate on Christmas Eve which is why I was MIA on Christmas Eve. But Christmas Day is like a very chill day for us. We don't do anything special. Um, or if you celebrated a different holiday, I hope you had a nice holiday. But today I am going to be bringing you guys my year-long project pan finale. Um, most of you guys know what this is. We're constantly working on products in our makeup collection or perfumes and skincare. Um, I have a separate body care one, obviously, if you guys are subscribers. And I did a weird clicking with my mouth right now. That was... That was weird. Um, but uh, this is just my way of making sure my makeup collection's in check because I have been a makeup hoarder in the past. And not gonna lie, this year I've been a little bit more intrigued because I finally used enough of my collection that I got bored with it. So, a uh, good way to keep myself in check. This specific project for me, I wanted to work on 10 items consecutively for the rest of the year now that my makeup collection is a lot smaller. Um, I did add a couple things, added? I did add a couple things this year. So next year might look different, but because we know that the global pandemic affected a lot of our makeup usage, um, I didn't do so hot in comparison to other years, but I was able to finish products in 2020. Maybe not in this update specifically. I just, I got busy, didn't want to use the products, which is totally fine. Um, because I got a fair use out of them. But let's go ahead and talk about first just the updates that I had since my last update about six weeks ago. So I had a goal of finishing my La Vanilla Pure Vanilla perfume and it totally could have been possible but I just didn't want to reach for it because it clashed with my winter candy apple. So if you watch my Bath and Body Works videos, you guys know that I am a winter candy apple fanatic. It's what I smell like every winter, just period, ever since I started working at Bath and Body Works back in 2014. So um, this perfume is a lot warm, or it is warm, but winter candy apple is fresh. It's uh, fruity and sweet and these two scents just clashed so it was a little bit of a hassle for me to remember to use it I did um, use enough progress where consecutively the whole year I have used up about half of the container this is something I can easily see myself using up in the next year obviously not in this year because it's over <laughs> And I'm not going to force myself to use something if I'm not feeling it because I'm a person that associates things with scents. Um, you know how some people like are with smells, although there is one smell that I associate something with, but other people like associate taste and smell, well this is smell, or touch or like something reminds them of something for me that is scent and I just you know, want to associate certain things with certain things. That's like how I get my pleasure, I guess. I don't know how to really mention it, but um, yeah. So, you know, did I use it up? No, but I used a good chunk of it since I have swapped it out for the product candy perfume that I had earlier in this project, um, which is another fragrance that I would like to finish up in the next year. But um, that is the La Vanilla one. I got more usage in my Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation. I was a diehard of the original Naked foundation by Urban Decay, loved it. And then they switched it for this one and it's not the same. I have been using it with oil and it does look a lot nicer. However, it is still a little bit heavy so I don't wear it that often, especially when I'm wearing a mask at work and that's usually what my outings out of the house consist of. But um, I do like to wear it in YouTube videos, like I'm wearing it today, and I don't know what it is, if it was just like I did a good moisturizer, and then like my sponge was a nice wetness, and then I got enough oil in this, but I really like the way that it applied today. Um, and I did use quite a bit up, um, as you can see. It has been moving around, but I did do a good progress. Obviously did not finish this in the year. I didn't expect I was going to finish it considering I added it in pretty late in the year. But again, it's something that I could see myself using up in 2021. And it's kind of giving you an insight of what are the products you are 
most likely going to see in next year's project as you know hopefully it doesn't take me the whole year to use it up if we're basing it just on 2020 alone but um if things start going back to normal now that the vaccine is out and um you know the more that people get get it uh the more immune people are so it's like either the vaccine or they got it although there is different strains but this is just like the science because i'm a biology major so this is like my field um <laughs> So I am just don't want to spew that stuff here because I know people have a lot of different thoughts on it. So I'm going to refrain from it. But hopefully, we're all hoping that 2021 is going to be better. So hopefully, with that manifestation of it, this gets used up next year. So um, I barely used this. I think I was like, oh crap, I have to film a finale and I can't say I never used this. So I think I've used it twice, maybe three times since my last update. And this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, I'm not even going to bother showing a picture of it from because I literally only used it twice and not enough to like even make a dent. This is my oldest powder. Um, because I, I'm not into like buying so much makeup still, uh, and I did just recently buy a cream bronzer, I don't know if I'm going to declutter this or not. I feel like although I am pale as can be for myself normally, this isn't doing much, but at the same time I still find a little bit of usage on it, like I'm wearing it today in this video because I knew I was going to film this video. Um, but I think I want to give it one more year and then I'm going to call it done because it's quite old. I do like it. Um, and that's all I can say. Um, my Chanel Tan de Soleil bronzer. I just haven't been in a mood for reaching it. I am wearing it today and I've worn it a couple of times. I've gotten a good amount of progress on this and this is something I'm going to use till the very end. It doesn't smell. It's still fine. It doesn't break me out or anything regardless of how old it is, which I don't want to share how old it is. Um, but it's still fine, so nothing's growing on it. Thank God. Um, but I feel like after next year, it probably should go. Just, you know, for safety reasons. And um, I still have to make the video comparing to the cream bronzer that I did buy back like in September to this to see if I can finally let this go after 2021. Um, now my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, I have been using quite a lot. Like I basically use this every other day. And again, there's still not like, I haven't hit pan on anything. Uh, these two specifically I are the ones that I use, use this under my eyes and then it, which is uh, I don't even know what it's called anymore because it's not here and I just dig my nail on something. Um, I think it's incandescent light and then I've been using dim light a lot like for my cheeks and that's what I've been using more as just like to add some color. Again, we're wearing masks still. I wear a mask all the time and like I do occasionally like take it off in the back like not on the floor or if I need a sip of water so you know. I still wear a little bit of makeup and just to add some color I put dim light all over my cheeks um, but that's it like I don't see the point of putting anything else on which is why there hasn't been much use for the other items and honestly this whole situation is going to make me really consider the items I put into next year's project pan and you know eventually like rotate out or how I want to do it like just because I imagine the first couple months of 2021 are still going to be very similar to these months of 2020. Um, and then obviously as 2020 goes on, 2021 goes on, um, it might change. But it really is going to put into perspective of how I want to approach it, you know, in a couple days. Because that's basically when 2021 starts. But I don't usually start my project pans to like mid-January or end-January end of January um, just because I like to work on other things in my collection and give them some love and decide what I want to put into it so that is my ambient lighting powder um, this one was fairly new new newly added into the project pan and this is the makeup forever super matte powder and I use this quite a bit as well especially because I'm wearing masks and it just helps 
uh, my makeup cling on a little better depending on what's underneath it. And while I haven't finished it, I am almost at the end of finishing it. I've had this for years and the most use I have gotten it consecutively out of this product specifically is by putting it in this project pan. And I'm going to basically keep using it till the very end because it makes sense to use uh, something that's really going to like lock all of the makeup, especially in this area that's like above and like teeter-tottering underneath the mask. Um, it does help keep it together. Unless it's a little bit heavier or a tighter mask, then it does tend to rub off on my nose and like right where it sits, but the rest of it still stays in place. So, um, yeah. And I have a lot of loose setting powders. I don't know, like, am I Pokemon, like, gotta catch them all, but loose setting powders because I feel like I keep collecting them and not necessarily like going out of my way to purchase them. So, um, glad at least I will eventually move one out. Last but not least, I have my eyeshadow palette and oh my god, I dropped this so many times and right now there's like broken stuff everywhere. If you saw my makeup declutter, I did declutter a lot of eyeshadows out of here and I did miss a couple. I haven't finished anything but, you know, there's broken things and instead of throwing it away, I've just been using the broken pieces like that are outside to do my eyeshadow. But now that I've been like on break and it's like winter officially here for the desert, I have been dabbling into like my purples a little bit more. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Um, before I was just kind of sticking in these like neutral everyday shades. But I don't know, something about like the holidays uh, make me want to dabble into more color, uh, which is good. So yeah, I forgot to declutter a couple of old ones that I said were kind of on the chopping block, like woodwinked that's in here as pretty as it is I just never reach for it and I have the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury eyes to memorize which is the cream eyeshadow in Marie Antoinette which is exactly the same so I really don't need the need for both and I definitely use that one more than this one so I should just get rid of it and then I don't use a lot of the darker colors so I should really uh, redefine this palette but uh, I wasn't going to do that until like after this video. So that is everything that is current in my collection. But this whole year, I've actually managed to use up five complete items, which was um, the Stila eyeshadow palette. Well, I didn't completely finish it, but I considered it done because I got my money's worth out of it um, and stuff started growing on it. So that I think that was a fair thing to say that it was done. Um, Especially because the eyeshadows just weren't performing as great. I also finished the Jordana eyebrow powder that I've literally had for an embarrassingly long, long, long time. Um, but I finally got it out. Brow products for me is something that I can have around forever and it stays like fine. I don't know about anyone else. I have been a little bit more into making sure it looks nicer. So I have been using more like brow pencils and I've been using that up more. Which brings me to the next item that I did use up in my last update which was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love that pencil. Although currently I'm not using it because um, I like the ColourPop one also and that one's cheaper that's why i have that one and then the other two items that i ended up using up were foundations one of them was the lancome tint idol foundation um i love that foundation it is a little bit pricey because it's lancome but i just haven't had the chance to repurchase it or the need but i do really really love that foundation and i also used up the it cosmetic cc cream which was those two foundations were actually like my top two foundations for a while now I have another top one, but they're still like one of my favorite foundations and type of finishes for my skin as well as coverage wise. Um, but those are just the five items that I finished. Again, not so great. I had a bunch of lip products, you know, because I was trying to be ambitious at the beginning of the year and then mask happened and I'm like, no, I'm not going to wear lip products. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That is how I did. Let me know how you did in your projects. Did you finish? Were you satisfied like with the things that you did finish? Or were you like me and it was like, alright, try harder next year. <laughs> I'm dying to know, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season with your loved ones or virtually. <laughs> it just depends on your personal situation. Like, I live with my uh, family, so... 
I'm able to spend time with them but I know a lot of people are doing it virtually this year which is a little bit hard but you know you make the most of it but I hope you guys are making the most of it and at least um, making it work for you but I will see you guys all in my next video bye